If I want to use template tab in Google Classroom, I'm going to create an assignment. Where students will find their tab and fill it out. So I'm going to need to have a spreadsheet that I can link to in the assignment. So I need to go to alicekeeler.com slash template tab. That's going to run the template. Make a copy. So once it opens, you'll notice that it allows me to paste my roster. And it also, down here at the bottom, says put template here. So let's say I want to have students do a crowdsourcing activity where they each do research on the internet. Then I'm going to want to move the freeze bar. We'll need to find the website title. And of course, I'll want to widen that column. I need the website URL. I need the students to determine if it's credible, why or why not, and then what information do they find on the website. Make those, and then I just like to use Comic Sans. All right, so right, so I design my graphic organizer, and what I want is a copy of this graphic organizer for each student on the roster. Now one of the tricks is in Google Classroom is to open any assignment and go to the fidget spinner settings cog and choose copy all grades to Google Sheets. Now when it does that it will give you the roster of students. I'm just going to take some of them and I'm going to paste it. So it's put roster here. I'm going to paste the roster and so that way when I take template tab and I run template tab, it's going to create a copy of that graphic organizer for each student on the roster. You notice along the bottom that I have each of my students and they each have the exact same template but it's all in the same spreadsheet. So then I'm going to want to just, I'm just going to rename this and go back to Google Classroom, click the drive icon, I'm going to add that template tab that I just made and switch it to students can edit and then I can assign it. Now when students fill this out, when students fill this out, everyone would contribute their own information. Is it edutopia.com? It's dot org. Ah. It's always best to go to the website, copy it, and paste it. Okay, so each student then has can contribute, and so then I have several different options under the template tab. If you choose move to front. What it's going to do is that students who have filled out the template, like here you'll notice Burke has more cells filled out than the others, and it should move them to the front. So there we go. So you notice these two tabs are filled out, and they're at the front where these blank ones, where the students have not edited the graphic organizer, are moved to the end. So then if I choose to email tab, 
Um, actually, they won't be able to get it yet. Well, no, they won't because I've already assigned it. So I can email the tab. And yes, and it's going to email each student the link to their tab. It's all the link to the same spreadsheet, but it links them directly to their particular tab. So everyone is sent the link if you want to email it to them. And then I have, if you delete the unedited tabs, it's similar to move to the front, but instead of just moving them to the front, all these ones that are blank would be deleted. But I have this new one called create new. So now that I have all these, Burke, Arnold, Bentley, um, next year I want to use the template, but I don't want um, last year's students in here. So if I go create new, then it creates me a fresh template tab and I can go find it in Google Drive or here's the link here. And you'll notice that I can paste a brand new roster into this spreadsheet and that I have the graphic organizer template ready to copy for my new roster.